Shalom, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh and double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that taught us his word. Um, I just want to do a video on the rainbow, because um, here in California, it's been raining, it's like the first time we had gotten some rain in a long time. And today at work, you know, I noticed this big, you know, vibrant, this beautiful rainbow. It was huge, and it was like, I mean, it looked exactly like this this picture right here. It was a perfect bow, perfect arch. Like, the color was just so bright, and it seemed like it just went for miles. Um, and that gave me this, the inspiration, you know, to do this video. And, you know, I just, you know, remember the scriptures and the true meaning, you know, of that bow, of the rainbow. It was the covenant that the Most High made you know, with all flesh on the planet, that he would never, you know, flood the planet Earth again. Um, so the scriptures, the first scripture is uh, Genesis 9 and 8. And the Most High spoke unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish my covenant with you and your seed after you. And with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, and of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth, I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of the flood. Neither shall there be, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. Next, you know, the Mosai sent that flood and killed everybody off. It was just Noah and his sons and the animals that were on the ark. And the Most High made a promise saying that he would never do that again. And the symbol of that promise, you know, was that rainbow. Uh, and the Most High said, this is the token of the covenant which I make between, between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall pass when I bring the cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I remember the everlasting covenant between, between the Most High and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. So yeah, man, this is basically, you know, the only covenant the Most High made, you know, with everybody, you know, that he wouldn't, you know, flood the planet earth again. But, you know, Esau, in his proud ways, you know, what, what does he say the rainbow represents? You know, he turned it into a symbol, you know, of homosexuality and an, an abomination. Uh, this article is from Slate.com. Why is the rainbow a symbol of gay marriage? How did the rainbow become a symbol of gay pride? Uh, streets around the world will be decked in rainbows this week as the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community celebrates LGBT Pride Month. Why is gay pride represented by rainbows? Uh, closeted gay people historically use bright colors to signal their homosexuality to each other. Oscar Wilde was famous for wearing a trademark green carnation on his lapel so yeah it was you know used for closeted homosexuals to you know to uh you know to code you know, to let other other people know you know their sexual you know orientation so we took something as beautiful as you know the rainbow that covenant that he made with all flesh on the planet and turning it to a, you know, an abomination. Uh, 
Next scripture is uh, Habakkuk uh, 2 and 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. So the just is, you know, the one-third. Well, Israel, mainly the elect right now, the soul that's lifted that is lifted up and is not upright in him, you know, as Esau. Yea, also, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and his end is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and he heapeth unto him all people. Yeah, you know, we need to keep it at home, you know, all these, you know, the military goes around all these different countries, sets up bases in these different countries, and takes their, their natural resources, but mainly, you know, it's the pride that he has in his heart to do something like that. Take the symbol and turn it into something, you know, wicked, the pride of Esau. And the next scripture is uh, Revelation 18 and 4. Uh, I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities. Reward her, even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cup which she hath filled to her, double. Yeah, so the Most High is going to, you know, pay back double for this, you know. Took such a beautiful symbol, you know. Because the Most High used this symbol as a covenant that he wouldn't flood the earth. He never said anything about, you know, burning it, <laughs> you know. That's what this is. That's what this is talking about. You know, the nuclear missiles. Nuclear missiles are going to destroy this place, so uh, you know, he said he wouldn't flood it, but he's going to burn it. You know, that's what we're waiting on. He says, Come out of here, my people, you know, the elect getting beamed up, so you not be a partaker of those plagues, you know, the nuclear missiles that are going to hit America. Uh, yeah. Just a little video on that rainbow that I saw today, man. The colors were so vibrant. It was beautiful. You know, I took pictures of it on my phone. You know, it's like a, pretty much everybody in my job, you know, got up and left their, their desks to go take a look at it. it. Stretched right over, you know, a building. And it was beautiful. It gave me that inspiration to do this video. But yeah, you know, with that, shalom.